Spraying Metal Coating Featuring Bronze B. For this video, we will be using the Harbor Freight Gravity Fed Gun, just like we did in the Primate video, which if you haven't had a chance to see, now is a good time to take a look and see where we left off. We'll use this strainer to strain out the metal coating. There's real metal in the metal coating, so every once in a while, a small particulate is too big to get through the gun. Straining will prevent this. 40 to 60 PSI is optimal, but 60 PSI tends to be a little smoother and you lose less fine details. It is important to do at least two coats for the metal coatings. The first as a base coat, and then the second will be your reactive coat. The metal coatings can be virtually used on any surface, though the primate may be necessary. This whale and bird were ceramic pieces found at a garage sale. Now is a good time to note that not all of the patinas work the same way as they do on metal versus metal coatings. For example, Japanese brown doesn't work on any metal coatings. When trying to spray something three-dimensional like this, typically what I try and do is do quick passes that overlap as little as possible. That way we can keep as much fine detail as we can. One of the great features of metal coating is that it doesn't require a clear coat, though it is generally recommended to ensure longevity. We want to use the patina while the metal coating is still wet. If we do it when it's dry, we get less of a reaction. That being said, if we put the patina on the metal coating while it's wet, but it dries out faster, we get less of a reaction. And here we have our finished bronze bee metal coating sprayed out. Click on the bird and the whale to watch the bronze sea and Tiffany green video. And remember, metal coatings are available at www.sculptnouveau.com.